love with Pat's two cents. We're going to read one verse from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4, followed by Pat's two cents and Webster's Dictionary. Charity suffereth long, and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up. Now, in case you want to know what all that means, I want you to hear what Webster has to say about all that good stuff. Because, see, a lot of us don't really know what love is. We don't know what to expect when someone says, I love you. See, love gets mixed up with lust. Love gets mixed up with convenience. Mm -hmm. Love gets mixed up with the word tool. And the reason I say that is because when you have a tool, you use a tool to accomplish an expected end. All right. When you say you love somebody and you mix that up with lust, you mix it up. As the kids say, don't get it twisted, but you do. You get it twisted. All right. So when you see love and you think lust, because what you're thinking is desire longing ooh baby baby what I could do with all of you but see that's not love I'm going to tell you something I'm, this is for the ladies and this is for you men to be careful not to be lying to the ladies my father told me this I'm telling you my parents didn't bite their tongue they did not mince words and I'm going to share you my father's wisdom on this one thing my father said and one thing my mother said that I will never forget. And you know what? It turned out to be true. Now, one thing that I can honestly say I appreciate, I am so happy that both my parents were old enough to be my grandparents because I got the wisdom of two generations from them. Listen to this. My father used to say, now some of you Christians, you can't handle this kind of crassness, this kind of honesty plug your ears up and go read the bible because this is for folks that really need some truth for this earth for this world we live in my father used to tell me when a man wants you bad enough he will do whatever it takes to get you whatever it takes but once he gets you and the chase is over and he's ready to conquer in that bed. He said, then things get twisted. And the man, when he's, a, when he's all aroused and he's in the middle of the sex act and the sex is really good, the man starts to confuse lust with love. And the closer he comes to that moment of climax, he almost believes he loves you. So he will say, oh, baby, I love you. I mean, hey, ain't no telling what's going to come out of that mouth at that moment. Don't believe it. Number two, this is what my mother used to say. She said, Pat, you can put a paper bag. I don't care how ugly a woman is. Put a paper bag on that woman's head. And as long as she's got... I don't know if I should say that. I don't know if y'all can handle this. I'm going to say it. Please don't be offended. It's not a cuss word, but it is crass. As long as... I'll say, the, I'll say it nicely. As long as she's got a hole for the pole... To go in that man is happy he is a happy camper and when he's done he doesn't remember the woman's name 
He doesn't want to be bothered with her because all she had to offer him was what was between her legs. Mission accomplished. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. And that's basically the way it goes down. So for those of you who think you got something golden down there because you were able to, to uh, finagle a man in the bed, oh, baby, all you had is something the man could buy at a store or buy on the streets. You just gave it away for free. And he doesn't even know your name, doesn't even care. Let me tell you a conversation. I don't know why I'm on this. It must be for some of y'all that, that think that being loose is cool. Um, my father told me he heard a conversation one day. These were some men that he was hanging out with. And he said, this is what men say amongst each other. And for those of you who are in junior high and high school, you can imagine how exaggerated it can get. So listen to this. And for those of you grown women that think you know how to play your man, I'm going to show you what your man thinks about you. Hmm. Uh, he said that they were having a conversation about this one female that one of them had sex with. That's what he said. It was those of you who hear the man say, I love you, because we're still on the word love. He said about this woman, he said, man, he said, when we got it on, I was like, man, what is this, the Holland Tunnel? He was talking about the fact that she felt like she had been, uh, she had been penetrated by everything under the sun. That men must have been having her left and right because he felt like he was, well, whoop, no resistance, no nothing. She felt like a used woman to him. Not, he didn't describe how he felt. No. Oh, no, no, no. He described how she felt to him. Now, we they didn't go into how loose he was. That's the comical part. See, you women don't understand. Men go by a double standard. They want you to be chaste and pure. Mm-hmm. Well, they could go around and just plant their seeds and swing their pole and we go dozy do wherever they want to go they feel like they have the privilege I'll be the man up in here yeah whatever but you women they look at you like hmm, nobody wants you to marry we want to marry you everybody in town had you what nerve they, they have nerve yes but when they get you in their bed, oh, I love you. Oh, you the kind of woman I could marry. You want to have my babies? You want to have my kids? That ain't nothing but that sperm talking. About to bust through the, the walls. Leave it alone. Listen. Lust is not love. Lust is not love, ladies. And you men, stop lying. If you want it that bad, go buy it. But quit jerking women's emotions around. Let's get back to love, because I'm about to fuss. All right. Now, when you deal with love, what this says is, get back to the point, Charity suffers long. That means patient. It is very patient. It is very kind. It envieth not. It vaunteth not itself. Is not puffed up. Verse 5 says, Doth not behave itself unseemly. Not indiscreet. Not rowdy. Not, not stupid in public. Seeketh not her own. You ever have a man that just, it's my way or the highway? That ain't love. Put it right there. That's a person who knows nothing about love. So if you think you can love them out of that stupidity, you go back to your 
license. Look at your name. Nine times out of ten, it is not J-E-S-U-S-C-H-R-I-S-T, Son of the Living God. That is the only one that can do that, not you. So you go on and take your little Josephine, Anna, Virginia, whatever your name is, and stop trying to change these sorry men that don't know what love is. Wouldn't know it if it slapped them in the face, if it booted them in the behind. It wouldn't know what love was if God delivered it on a silver platter. And if they don't know what it is, they don't know how to give it because they don't have it to give. And you won't change that with all your goodness and all your sweetness and all your lust and desire, I mean, all your desirability, everything about you, all your beauty. No, you're not going to change that. My mother used to say, another word of wisdom, you cannot make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. Okay, that's one lesson on love. One, there are many. God bless you.